Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here at the barn after hours um, and I want to talk to you today about uh, Perlin. This particular barn is a Pennsylvania bank barn and it can be entered into on two, two, two different floors. On, the, on that side of the barn, you can enter into it that way and on this side of the barn, you can enter into the foundation. But what I really wanted to focus on is the Perlins. The Perlins are the framing members that we're going to go over. So follow me and I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about it. So if you look at our barn, we have these framing members. In this case, this is a two by four pressure treated piece of lumber. The reason it's pressure treated is it's tight against the concrete foundation wall. That has a tendency to be moist. So we use pressure treated lumber when we're in contact with concrete typically. All right, so that's a two by four piece of pressure treated silver yellow pine. This right here is a two by four. It's not pressure treated, but notice they're all going horizontal like this and they're spaced two feet on center all the way up the wall. The reason they're on there is what we're gonna put on this barn is vertical siding. And we need to, we're going to fasten the siding in to the purlins. So we'll have approximately 30, well it's 38 and a half inch long metal plank, metal pieces of steel that we're going to fasten to the barn. And we attach those to the purlins. So this is something that's very commonly used in barn construction or when we're assembling anything that takes vertical siding. If we step back, we can also look at the roof again and we have purlins up there as well. So a house is framed often different. We have exterior four by eight sheathing or, or um, OSB or plywood on the exterior. So we don't often have purlins like this on a house um, because we're gonna put siding or brick or something different on it. In this case, we're putting vertical uh, metal siding on the building. So we wanna have purlins, right? On the roof, again, we have them spaced out two feet on center, and those are made out of two by fours as well. They aren't pressure treated because they're not in contact with the foundation wall. So again, purlin, they're two, typically spaced two feet on center, going up the wall and up the roof as well. So you can see the front part of this house is the faceboard on the front of the roof there and then right on top of the faceboard we have the purlins on the roof so anyway i just wanted to discuss a little bit while we're building this so everyone gets a good shot at, at what a purlin looks like and what they're used for um thanks